Hi, New Life. My name is Teal Natowski. If you don't know me, I'm the leader of the Moms Matter group and have done some uh, work with children's ministry in the past. When I was asked to do this devotional, I replied, that sounds terrifying. I'm in. And I'm glad I decided to brave the video and bring this devotional to you. If you ask anyone, Christians, non-Christians, or even people who don't celebrate Christmas, everyone knows that this is the season of joy. Whether you live in a cold place and you actually get to cozy up next to a fireplace, or you're having a relaxing beach vacation in Hawaii for Hawaiian Christmas, this is a time that people find comfort and joy. As Christians, I feel that we get to experience all that joy amplified because we know the true reason of the season. We're going to walk through Psalm 33 today, and if you ask me, it captures the perfect Christmas spirit. You will hear words like sing, joy, praise, music, rejoice, trust. That's Christmas, right? King David loved to worship the Lord with his songs, just as we love celebrating Christmas with songs of joy. Bear with me and I'll try not to make this too long, but there's just so much joy to be had in these verses. The Steadfast Love of the Lord, Psalm 33. Let the godly sing for joy to the lord it is fitting for the pure to praise him praise the lord with melodies on the lyre make music for him on the ten-string harp sing a new song of praise to him play skillfully on the harp and sing with joy for the word of the lord holds true and we can trust everything he does he loves whatever is just and good the unfailing love of the lord fills the earth in this world full of people who are untrustworthy, unreliable, praise God that we have a God who is trustworthy. He does not lie, forget, or change his words, and he, his promises are always fulfilled. He continues in verse 6, The Lord merely spoke, and the heavens were created. He breathed the word, and the stars were born. He assigned the seas to their boundaries and locked the oceans in vast reservoirs. Let the whole world fear the Lord and let everyone stand in awe of him. For when he spoke, the world began and it, uh, it appeared on his command. I love these verses that poetically summarize Genesis 1. Why should we praise God? Why should we be in awe of the Lord? This, his creation is evidence enough of his wonders and power. I know I've confessed this to a Bible study uh, group that I was in, but I can just be brought to tears thinking about the simple beauty uh, that God has created. The amazing engineering of a banana, the works of nature, it's just amazing. And he is responsible and deserves all of our praise for this. Just recently, I've come to really understand um, the fear of God. How can we not be in awe of his power and realize how small we are in comparison to the vastness and, and just the overall power of God? We're going to continue with verse 10. The Lord frustrates the plans of the nations and thwarts all their schemes, but the Lord's plan stands, stands firm forever. His intentions can never be shaken. What joy for the nations whose God is the Lord, whose people he has chose, uh, chosen as his inheritance. The Lord's plan stands, stands firm forever. We can find great joy in this. Are you frustrated by inconsistencies in others or even yourself? We can rely, rely completely on God and his trustworthiness. His intentions never change. And in a season of joy, we can add to that joy by rejoicing in the fact that God is completely consistent and you can trust in his counsel. We'll finish up uh, Psalm 33, starting at verse 13. The Lord looks down from the heaven and sees the whole human race. From his throne, he observes all who live on the earth. He made their hearts so he, can, so he understands everything they do. The best equipped army cannot save a king, nor is great strength enough to save a warrior. 
Don't count on your war horse to give you victory. For all its strength, it cannot save you. But the Lord watches over those who fear him, those who rely on his unfailing love. He rescues them from the depths and from death and keeps them alive in times of famine. We put our hope in the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. Let your unfailing love surround us, Lord, for our hope is in you alone. Christmas is joy. Christ is joy. And what joy we have knowing that, um, knowing the God that we have. We choose joy because he is creator, our Lord, our savior, our deliverer. We choose joy because he is trustworthy. We praise because he is faithful and dependable. He is worthy of our songs, our dance, our shouts. He is Christmas joy. So this season, just look around you and see what can you be in awe of. The simple things God does, the joy around us, it's all Christ. Join me in prayer, please. Lord, we rejoice in your creation. Open our eyes to see our Savior, our Savior, your power, your unfailing love this Christmas season. Let our hearts be filled with excitement and share that with others around us. Help us radiate the joyful truth, true reason of the season. Thank you for your faithfulness. In God's name we pray. Amen.